What is muscle three? For your muscle to work properly, you need to give them ATP. And the quick ATP come from two enzymes, myokinase, creatin kinase. Both of them, they can quickly transfer the ADP, which is a low energy molecule, into ATP, which is a high energy molecule. And also, the, the first step of the ATP synthesis is called uh, glycolysis. And it can also provide a short-term uh, quick supply of ATP. You take a glucose and cut in the middle. Glucose is a six-carbon molecule. It turns into two pyruvate, which is a, a three-carbon molecule. And it's it going to produce two ATP. And this process can produce lactic acid. So when you exercise too much, you feel the muscle sore, muscle weak. That's because of the lactic acid. And that's due to the glycolysis. The long-term process, you need mitochondria. We talk about this organelle. So the mitochondria, that's the process to produce ATP. After glycolysis, you have the pyruvate. Pyruvate will turn into acetyl-CoA, and it will go to the citric acid cycle and electron transport train. And both of them can produce a lot of ATPs. And this process requires oxygen. That's why you breathe. When you exercise, you actually need a lot of oxygen. So you can reach the situation your oxygen demand is higher than the oxygen supply. And in that case, your muscle will borrow oxygen from other, uh, other structures. One is hemoglobin. The second one is myoglobin. Myoglobin is very similar to hemoglobin. It's a protein you find in the muscle. And you can use those oxygen quickly produce ADP. And we call this action debt. And it's a debt, so you have to pay it back. That's after you exercise, you still breathe heavily for a few seconds to a few minutes because you need to pay them back, pay those action back, even though you are not exercising anymore. And when your muscle contract, you provide electrical stimulus, you will start to contract, you have the contracting phase and the muscle relax, relaxation phase. And we call this one muscle twitch, a single contraction and relaxation. It's, it's called the muscle twitch. And we talk about this process from the electrical stimulus to the contraction relaxation. And this whole process takes about 40 milliseconds. And the muscle need to maintain its proper distance. It can contract, it can be pulled a little bit. So the sarcomere, that's the sarcomere structure, they can overlap a little bit more, they can overlap a little bit less. But ideally, you should stay in this distance. And when we talk about the muscle's tension, uh, if you pull too much, you pull too little, uh, they, they, they will decrease the muscle tension. So the, they have the normal range and to, to create the maximum tension of the muscle. And muscle were innovated by neuron. The muscle fiber, the motor neuron plus all the muscle fiber, that neuron innovate is called motor unit. And like these two, these two neurons, the blue neuron, the orange neuron, both of them are small motor unit. So the blue neuron only innovate two fiber and the orange one innovate four. So these are small motor unit. And in your finger muscle, your face muscle, most of them are small motor unit. And small motor unit are very good for delicate control. You can create a delicate movement with your finger, with your uh, you can have complicated facial expression. In your back, your leg, these are big muscle. They use the big motor unit. When the uh, motor neuron fire, all this muscle fiber contract, they can produce a big power. So your back muscle, your leg muscle, they are used to maintain your posture and create a big movement. You can use the same muscle to move a light stuff and also move a pretty heavy stuff. The difference is recruitment. You recruit different motor unit. If you only need to move a small light stuff, and you recruit 
uh, a little bit motor unit so it creates a small tension and if you need to move those heavy 40 pounds heavy stuff you probably need to use all the muscle fiber recruit all of them and of course the muscle intensity the 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 power it can produce muscle tension is much more but each muscle have their maxima contraction and that's when all the motor unit being recruited and these are the two terms uh, we have the twitch twitch is you uh, you provide the identical stimulus each time when you provide the stimulus and the muscle contract the trappy is you provide more frequent stimulus when you have more frequent stimulus and the electrical signal will be transferred to the calcium release calcium will trigger the muscle contraction the sacromial contraction because it's so quick and some calcium is still left inside the cell in the cytosol not being pumped back to SR yet and the next time you, you provide the stimulus you're going to release calcium again it can cause another muscle contraction so the muscle contraction with the calcium left inside the cytosol and the new calcium at the end they're going to they're going to create a bigger uh, contraction so the the muscle tension start to increase that's called the trapezoid And because the electrical signal can happen much quicker than the mechanical events, the action potential only take about 2-3 milliseconds to finish. And the whole muscle contraction and relaxation take about 40 milliseconds. So you can provide another stimulus before the muscle completely relax and the muscle will contract again. And if you provide too much stimulus, stimuli, and the muscle will reach those only contraction, no relaxation. It's called tenderness. And this one called incomplete tenderness. Even though it reaches maximum tension, you can still try to relax a little bit. That's the incomplete tenderness. Or the worst one, uh, complete tenderness. The muscle only contract, no relaxation. And if this happens, you have muscle cramp. You have muscle only contraction, no relaxation. And that's due to the electrical signal can happen much more frequently, much more quicker than the mechanical event, which is the whole muscle contraction and relaxation. So this shows you the twitch, and this shows you the incomplete tenderness and complete tenderness. Okay, that's it.